Hi, hello, welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting this one off a little bit later in the day. It's already almost five o'clock. It's Monday. I had the day off today. Like, well, I had the day off from the salon. I've been doing YouTube related work today. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna start the vlog today or tomorrow, but I wasn't really doing vlog worthy things earlier, so. Here we are, I am about to start making dinner. So I'm making a shrimp pasta with oven roasted tomatoes. So I have some grape tomatoes here that I'm about to put in my air fryer. And I am putting olive oil and some salt. And we're gonna do some black pepper. This is running low. These are gonna go in the air fryer for probably like 15, 20 minutes maybe. I'm gonna start at 10. I have my shrimp over here that's been defrosting. It's already peeled, tail off. Love that, nice and easy. And then we have baby spinach. I have half a lemon in here, green onions, garlic, which <laughs> normally I just buy regular garlic and peel it myself but I saw this at the store and I was like wow um you know that would really make life easier and you know what it is it's not even that like peeling garlic is a big deal it's really not but my hands will smell like garlic for the next week and it is so disgusting to me so the less I have to like actually handle it myself the better and then we need the actual pasta so I'm gonna do ZD. This might be a really niche topic, but comment down below, are you a ZD person or a penne person? There's just something about ZD, like those smooth tubes, like I just love the texture of it. I'm going to play a podcast while I do this, but all I'm gonna do, it's super simple, I'm just gonna chop up some garlic, I'm gonna throw that in a pan with some olive oil, then throw the shrimp in, and then throw in the green onion and the spinach, once the tomatoes are done, I'm gonna throw that in, mix everything all up, and then just throw it over some pasta. And I think seasoning-wise, I'm gonna keep it simple, just do salt and pepper. on the dot actually I don't even know how I should dress today the weather has been so all over the place one day it's 75 the next day the high is only in the 50s and I'm like what's going on is it winter or is it summer like tomorrow the high is gonna be 76 like what today it's supposed to get up to 70 but it looks like majority of the morning it's only gonna be in the 60s so, okay, which for here is cold. <laughs> oh, by the way, look how cute this case is. It's little Betty. I love this picture of him. <laughs> this was many months ago. I woke up one morning and he was just like standing over me like this. The night before I had went out and I woke up the next morning like feeling kind of hungover. He just looked like so disapproving and like annoyed like really so i had to take a picture because i just thought it was hilarious but it's from Casetify, which they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog if you watch youtube videos i'm sure that you're familiar with Casetify. they are the world's most popular tech accessory brand known for making 
the most durable cases. And they now have their bounce case that has expanded corners that allows your phone to simply bounce. With new EcoShock impact absorption technology, the bounce case can withstand drops from up to 21.3 feet. It's also available in over 2,000 plus prints to choose from. They also have their clear case that has anti-yellowing, long-lasting clarity with UV Defender technology. It exceeds military standards and can withstand up to a 6.6 foot drop. It's their slimmest case with tactile buttons and a comfy grip. And when you're making a custom case, like I did with this one, it even gives you the option to select like the coloring along the sides of the case, which I thought was really cool. Like it's very, very specific. I used to always shy away from the really durable cases because they tended to be like really bulky and not the most aesthetically pleasing either. So it's like the best of both worlds with Case Defy. If you'd like to try them out for yourself, go to casedefy.com slash samvey to get 15% off your order. And I think the custom case is a really great idea for a gift. Cause like how cute, I would die if somebody gave me really anything with a photo of my dog printed on it. Okay, so I need to get ready, figure out what I'm gonna wear. I am working front desk this morning. I'll see you in a little bit. I'll show you what I end up wearing. Here is my outfit, super simple. Um, I just have a plain like ribbed white t-shirt that I think is from H&M, but I've had it forever. Abercrombie mom jeans and this shacket I got a couple years ago at Target. And then for shoes, I'm gonna wear these slip-on sneakers from H&M. It's several hours later. I am home now and I'm so excited. So this past weekend was our Christmas party at the salon and we did a white elephant gift exchange. I got a, come on, a Stanley cup. I'm so excited because I feel like everybody has one of these and I just keep hearing amazing things how this literally keeps your water cold all day long and it's freaking huge but the bottom is small enough that it's supposed to be able to fit in your car's cup holder. I'm going to fill this up each day and I'm going to try, this is 40 ounces, so I think I'm going to start out trying to just drink one of these at least a day. And I just love the color, just like nice and clean and simple. So cool. We had left all of our gifts in one of the girls' cars because we were like out downtown when we did our gift exchange. That way we didn't have to worry about like lugging our gifts out to like the bars and stuff with us. So yeah, I was able to get this back this morning. I am going to probably just heat up some of that pasta I made last night have that for lunch and I have some computer work that I need to get done. I ordered a pair of jeans from Good American and they are supposed to be arriving today. So I'm very, very excited, looking forward to them arriving so that I can try them on. I got a pretty good deal, but even still, they were pretty expensive. I wanna see if I actually like them, if they fit and if they're actually like worth the hype or not, because if I don't 100% love them, I'm just gonna send them back. My jeans arrived! Ah! I'm so excited. I have been editing the last several hours in bed and I just need to take a little bit of a break. So let's try on these jeans and fingers crossed that they fit and that I love them. They have really great reviews online. These are the good 90s loose jeans. And I read a shit ton of reviews on the website and pretty much everyone was saying to size down if you like them to fit a little bit higher on the waist because most of the models on the website we're wearing them low rise and they were like super baggy, like almost kind of like falling off a little bit. And these actually look pretty damn big. I got them in a size six. Lately, I've been wearing an eight 
typically in pants. Oh my god! They feel good. Oh my god. I think I just found my new favorite pair of jeans. I am so happy. I was really nervous that they were either going to not fit and or I wasn't going to really like them that much or that like the wash would look weird or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I love these so much. Here's how they look. Oh my god, they are so cute and they're comfy because they don't have any stretch to them but because they are a loose fit they're like not tight or digging in anywhere at all and actually I even have like a tiny bit of extra room I feel like they make my butt look good like they are just so cute full price these are $155 and I ordered them directly from the Good American website and you get $50 off your first pair of jeans when you order from their website. You just have to like sign up for the emails. I'll put a link to them down below. Hopefully they're not sold out, but definitely size down at least one size if you want them to fit higher up on your waist. By the way, <laughs> it's a little while later. I am getting ready for bed and I realized I should vlog this and share because I honestly don't feel like I notice a huge difference when I look in the mirror but I have never gotten so many compliments and questions and comments about my skin ever in my life in videos in real life and I'm pretty sure I've shared this before in recent vlogs but I still have been getting questions so I thought I would share again what I've been doing as far as my skincare routine because it's super simple like I used to have a really like thorough routine that involved a bunch of steps and a bunch of products but for the past few months this is all I've been doing. I cleanse my skin and I think that's the biggest thing is consistency. Like I always make sure to wash my face every single night before I go to bed. I never go to sleep with makeup on. I don't care how late it is, how tired I am. I always make sure to thoroughly remove my makeup. But whether I wear makeup that day or not, I will always cleanse my skin before I go to sleep. I've been using the Milk Cleanser from Circadia which I don't think you can get this if you're a non-professional unless you buy it from a salon that carries this. I just got it directly from their website with my cosmetology license, but I've been using this for almost two years now. So this isn't really the key secret. I just feel like any gentle cleanser is fine and will do the trick. I think like the Cetaphil one is probably just as good too but yeah I just use like a milky cleanser and then I'll do toner this is from the COSRX brand I get this on Amazon it's the AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner and then this I feel like is really it like this is what makes all of the difference I'm telling you like any issues I have with my skin if I'm feeling super oily, if I'm feeling super dry, if I'm getting a lot of breakouts, if I over exfoliated, if I like any, any issue at all that I'm having with my skin, just hydrating the shit out of it with this stuff, it just fixes everything. This is just the Nivea cream. You can get this at Walmart, Target, any drugstore this stuff is so thick and I just take a big glob of it and I just apply a thick layer all over my face before I go to bed and I put it on like a mask and I just let it sit it eventually will start to absorb like you can kind of already see like some areas where it's not looking as white and then once it's like mostly absorbed I'll just, with clean hands of course, I'll massage in whatever is left and I make sure I go onto my neck as well. And I think that's what it is. I think my skin 
is just super, super moisturized and hydrated. And I think it just makes it look plumper and glowy. It's literally just all this stuff. Super simple. I look a little crazy when I go to bed, but it's been working for me. Good morning. I'm wearing the new jeans today. Very excited. So I'm wearing a bodysuit from Abercrombie and then the new Good American loose 90s, whatever, jeans. I almost kind of wish that I had went down to a size four because I know these are supposed to be loose and baggy and oversized. I'm almost like, are they too baggy? But I guess not. Like they really, there's extra room there, but they just like sit and hang perfectly on me, I think the way they're supposed to. I just think I'm used to jeans being like super, super tight and cinched in at the waist. And I love the look of like really big baggy, loose oversized stuff on other people, but on myself, I think, I hope this is not triggering to talk about, but as someone who has struggled my entire life with body image and like body dysmorphia and like having unhealthy relationships with food and exercise, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Even though I'm like at a point now finally in my life where I've come to just accept my body and sometimes I actually like really love it, but there's still like that little part of me in the back of my mind that's a little like, well, I don't wanna wear something that's gonna make me look bigger. And I feel like saying that out loud is just so stupid because it's like, okay, it's just supposed to be a baggy fit. Like it's supposed to be loose. It's supposed to be oversized and whatever. Like who cares? Like if the clothes are cute and you feel comfortable and you feel like you look cute, like who, like who cares? You know, like who cares what size the actual item is and who cares if it makes your frame or silhouette look like a little wider like it's just it's dumb but it's just we've been conditioned this way and actually you know what that reminds me of something i've been wanting to talk about but i have to leave to go to work so we'll chat in the car i have no gas uh okay says i'm good for 17 miles there's a gas station near the salon and i think that's only 10 miles away so we should be good i had been kind of meaning to talk about this a little bit a to like just kind of vent myself a little bit but also because i feel like this is relatable for people and i just i don't know i just kind of want to like have a conversation about it and maybe i'll do a separate video at some point in the future and we can do like just a, a girl chat sit down kind of video but like i said earlier i am someone who has always felt uncomfortable with my body. People have left comments on my videos referring to me as plus size, like, you're my favorite plus size YouTuber, or you're my favorite mid-size, I love, like, stuff like that, and it's like, I, it's not like my channel has anything to do with my size, my content has nothing to do with my size or my body, I'm, I'm not, like, yeah, I'll share what I'm wearing in vlogs and stuff, but, like, I don't make fashion related content i just share my life and i talk about hair and like being a cosmetologist and it's just weird to me how people will make comments about my body my weight my size like what does it matter and then people will make assumptions about my size if i occasionally am sharing like with these jeans for example like i'm not telling you the size i bought to be like mm -hmm, yeah I'm just a size six or whatever like I'm just sharing because if we're the same height and you look at me and it looks like we might be similar proportions I'm just telling you this is the size that I got this is how it fits me to like like for reference to help you if you want to because when I am looking to purchase clothing online I like to look up videos of other people wearing those clothes and I try to find people that have a similar body type to mine so I have a better idea of what size I should get. Then that's it. Like that's 
and I will have people comment questioning my size or making assumptions about my size. I got a comment recently that I was talking in one of my vlogs about how I bought something. I bought these like men's crew neck sweatshirts in a size extra large. And I guess I didn't mention the fact that they are men's, men's extra large. But I said something about like, yeah, I, um, I got this in an extra large so that it would fit like super oversized and just be like baggy and comfy and loose. And someone commented like, yeah, well, looking at you, you look like you're a size 10. So an extra large is not super oversized for you. I'm literally wearing the item and you're seeing that it fits oversized on me. That's it. And that's all I'm saying is this is the item I got. This is the size I got it in. This is, look, this is how it fits me. For reference, if you want the same item and you like the same type of fit, that's literally all I'm saying. It's not to shame people or make people feel bad but it's just so frustrating and like I remember a couple years ago when I was a little bit thinner I was a true size six like I said now lately I've been wearing an eight for the most part in a vlog I had bought a pair of pants and I brought them home and I tried them on and I said for reference I got these in a size six and someone commented and was like oh there's no way you're a size six or I would have never guessed that you are a size six or I, I find it hard to believe that you're a size six okay like I sorry like I don't know what to tell you I have other videos on my channel where I'm literally talking about hair color color theory like it's it has nothing to do with me personally or my lifestyle or anything I'm literally talking about hair and people will use my size and my presumed weight as an insult like you don't like what I am telling you you don't like the fact that I'm saying that like box dye isn't good for your hair so you want to attack me and tell me that I'm fat huh what does that have to do with anything? I question, like, if I were a male hairdresser, and I could be totally wrong, like, I'm, this is genuinely a question and just a thought that I have. If I was a male hairdresser, sitting down, and you just saw me from the chest up, and I was talking about hair color, color theory, box dye, whatever, would people be commenting on my weight or even, like, mentioning that? Not to say that men don't like get body shamed, of course they do, but I just feel like women are so mean to each other sometimes. Cause that's the thing, like 99% of those comments that I get about my body are from other women. I don't get it. The recent comment I got was like, you're saying that an extra large is super oversized on you when it's not let's be real you're a large and you should watch what you're saying that could be triggering to young girls you don't think your comment trying to like nitpick and like tear me apart and make assumptions about my body and trying to tell me that i have like a delusioned image of my body and i'm like in denial about what size I am you don't think that that's triggering to me <laughs> that shit pisses me off and like sometimes yeah it will get to me and it'll piss me off personally because it's like I've already put myself mentally through so much shit over my body and it's hard for me like editing these videos every week and looking at myself on camera and like you know, if I'm holding the camera at a certain angle and like my double chin looks really intense, it's hard for me to not pick myself apart and not be hard on myself. You know, like I'm trying so hard to just finally accept myself the way I am and just embrace my body and just have a healthy relationship with food and not count every single calorie that I put in my mouth and not punish myself with exercise and all, all of those things. You know, it's like we've all had struggles at some point or another, regardless of how someone may come off, regardless of how they may look, you never know what 
someone's been going through mentally or like what they've experienced in their past what their struggles have been you don't know and it's like it's hard enough we put ourselves through enough bullshit we don't need other women putting us through more so it's frustrating for me personally because it's like sometimes it gets to me and it upsets me and it pisses me off but then it's also just annoying in general because it's like we're we're doing this really we're seriously doing this why like can we just live our fucking lives and not sit there and pick each other apart like don't worry about what my body looks like or what size i am or how much i weigh if i choose to share those things then great but i'm also not sharing it so that it can be like a topic of discussion or so that people can weigh in and share their like thoughts and opinions on it. My presence on the internet has nothing to do with my body. Anyway, I'm at the gas station. We made it, gonna fill up this tank real quick and then head to work. Uh, thank you so much for listening to this rant. Let me know your thoughts down below. Good morning! Happy Thursday! Today is December 8th, which means it is the one year anniversary of the day that I moved into this apartment. It's the weirdest thing because part of me feels like, oh my god, I can't believe it's already been an entire year. But then another part of me feels like I've been here way longer than a year. It hasn't always been the smoothest transition, you know, like... I kind of went through it mentally for a while there the first few months and it was kind of like a roller coaster of emotions at times but I'm so happy with my decision I really love it here I've met some really great people here it's cool to like reflect and think back and be like wow I really did it I had been talking about wanting a change and wanting to move away since I was in high school but I never knew if I would be able to actually do it if I would be brave enough if I financially could afford to do it on my own I always thought I would have to like do it with a friend or a boyfriend or something and yeah I mean to be able to just do it alone it's I'm proud of myself anyway today luckily it kind of worked out perfectly I don't have to work I'm all caught up on my YouTube work. I don't have to go into the salon today. I do have some things like little chores that I want to do around the apartment. Just a little to-do list of stuff. I'm going to have my coffee, watch a YouTube video or two. That is my morning ritual if I don't have somewhere to be first thing in the morning and now that it's december a bunch of people are doing vlogmas which is really exciting i am gonna watch alexandra rodriguez's vlogmas there's just something like so comforting about it because she's just doing like normal everyday stuff which is what i love i don't know some people i feel like try too hard to like overproduce or to like make their life seem like so perfect and everything i don't know she's just like a normal person and that's what i like to watch so comment down below let me know who you've been watching lately whether they're doing vlogmas or not if you also like that same kind of content like stuff that's similar to what i do everyday normal looking people with no makeup not trying to be perfect just keeping it real and just normal
update. It's several hours later. I got everything checked off of my to-do list, which feels so good. I cleaned and organized the fridge, which I have been meaning to do for <laughs> A couple months now and I just kept putting it off. I cleaned out and reorganized my cabinets. I cleaned the kitchen. I vacuumed all of the floors, did a bunch of laundry, washed all of my bed sheets, and I cleaned out my car. I took out, I had like beach chairs and my beach tent, like all that stuff in my trunk. I took that stuff out finally and I put it away in my storage closet. I fixed the lights that I had put out on my balcony. The hooks I used to hang them up with, a few of them had fell down. So I took those all down and I just hammered some nails into the railing and I hung them up that way instead. And showered, washed my hair, and now I'm in the middle of making dinner. I just had like some chicken breast tenderloins. I seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, minced garlic and some green onions because i have a whole bunch of those left over from the pasta that i made the other day oh yeah also update on the stanley cup i filled this up this morning as you saw i've been drinking it all day i think i'm almost done i feel like i've literally been drinking water non-stop all day and i'm like how is this thing not empty yet but i think i'm getting towards the bottom mm. There we go. There's still ice frozen in here and it's been in there for seven, seven or eight hours. That's pretty impressive. And it's pretty warm in here. 72 degrees in my apartment. I know you can get them on Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description. Just gonna rest for the rest of the night. I'll see you in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. Good morning. It's Friday. I'm working front desk today at the salon and we have a wedding this morning, which I'm excited about. And I'm really happy with the outfit I'm wearing today. And that's always a good feeling. Anytime you're wearing an outfit that you just like feel really good in, I feel like that always sets the tone for the day, you know? Yesterday I had just let my hair air dry, didn't put anything on it, and then I just left with it down so it's a little bit of a mess so I'm just kind of touching up some of these curls I should probably do a little bit of makeup mm, I have a few minutes listen I know this lighting sucks it always sucks in the mornings when I'm trying to show you my outfit hopefully you can still kind of see it okay the stress is new I just got this a couple weeks ago from cider I don't know if you can see it is like a sheer mesh but it has like a black tank lining underneath so there you can see that so it has two layers and it's like nice and lightweight and it's stretchy but I feel like it's kind of forgiving because you have the two layers so it doesn't like hug onto you super super tight it just kind of like lightly skims over your body and then I have my white cowboy boots on that are from Altered State these chunky hoops are from Etsy I'll link them down below the other earrings are all Anna Luisa. That's my work outfit of the day. I'm gonna bring my cup with me. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because I'm just gonna be working all day and I wanna start a new vlog tomorrow. I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna try to put a ring on over here and it's like, bye.